Okay, good afternoon, professors. Uh, this is Dr. Nelson Garayas, and uh, I am presenting a little quick primer on how to um, deal with uh, your Moodle grading, um, because again, it is now part and parcel of your um, mid-quarter evaluation. Uh, not only is a, um, a classroom observation, but if you re recall the most recent form from last term, there's also like a Moodle section, and one of those sections is to evaluate on um, did you uh, put in your grades on time? Do you have everything that um, the syllabus requires? So um, going right now into Moodle, that's online.stratford.edu. You sign in. Okay. And I'm going to pick an empty shell. Uh, the class uh, that uh, we're going to be messing around with is HCA Healthcare Admin Class uh, HCA 400, which is Healthcare Delivery Systems. So it's a nice empty shell that we can mess with. Now, I find my shell. Of course, it is 2017, Term 2. Um, all of our classes are C, meaning um, 10 weeks, HCA 400. And please recall the designation for classes. If it's a 4, it's a Monday, 5, Tuesday, so on and so forth. D for day, AX Alexandria Campus. So I click on that, and I already now have my course syllabus. I already have the syllabus. You now know that the, the syllabi are now um, in a centralized location, so it's um, um, there's a web link or um, uh, a site link to your course syllabus when you look into it. Now, if you see, everything's blank. So the first thing I'm going to do is, in the upper right-hand corner, if you see right up here, is I'm going to click on this little uh, icon right here. It's like a, a pen. It says, turn editing on. So I can turn editing on. Now, based on what I want to add, you know, I pick the weeks. And of course, March 13th to March 19th, that's week one. March 20th through 26th, week two, so on and so forth, all the way up to week 10. Now, uh, typically, week five is um, evaluations. Week nine is uh, final evaluations. I mean, week five is midterm evaluations. Uh, week nine is uh, final evaluations. And week 10, we can utilize for remedials. Now, this particular class is on a Tuesday. And as we recall, there, is, uh, there was a little bit of a storm issue, and classes were canceled. So pretty much, we're going to be starting um, uh, March 20 through March 26th. So, if we open up the syllabus, and here's the here's example. Okay. Now, of course, this would all be populated. Now, we can't measure the objectives, so make sure to have these objectives in mind. And if you do all the little objectives, the larger ones should take care of themselves. Now, you have three essential things that you have to have every week. You have to have a discussion, a task, and a lesson. Now, those of us who had template A, it was already built in for us. But uh, for those of us who have to create a new shell from scratch, and HCA 400 is an example of one, um, every week should have a discussion, task, and lesson. Now, I make weeks five and weeks nine like an exception because, you know, I try to give them time to study for, you know, their final practicals or their final, um, um, what do you call it, final exams or midterm exams. But, uh, you know, uh, all in all, you really should have a discussion every week. Now, tasks are, it's kind of like homeworks, but homeworks to set you up for the next lesson. And lesson is what you do in class. And those are the learning experiences. And remember, let's try to get, um, get, a, uh, get away from lecture. Trying to do more things like work in teams and case studies so that it can be more of a learning experience instead of, you know, um, someone just in, in the front of the room talking all day. So, beyond the rating scale and whatnot, what should you be putting in, um, um, in your item? Like, for example, if you look at the tasks overall, they'll come out to like around 30%. Lessons, around 40%. Discussions now. Um, I believe you can alter these. Me personally, I do the 10% a week thing, so that um, you know whatever final project would be like week nine or week ten. So that would be 10%. 
um, finalist, um, um, final practical would be another 10%. And then every week, every other week, broken down to 10%. So you can have a task, lesson, and discussion. But this is okay if you do it this overall as well. Again, if you have an open, open shell environment, you can alter these. Now, if we look, task one, complete the task. So for this particular um, um, class, it's pretty much open to the professor. Okay? So now we know we have to do some lessons and some, uh, some items um, that we have to put in. So again, and I'm doing this mock, and of course, uh, the good professor who has this class can alter. So this is how we go do it. We go now scroll to the bottom of the page, right hand side, and when you get to the bottom, there's this uh, administration part, and then you go to grades. Click on grades, and you'll see these are all the people in this class. Now you see this, there's nothing here. So now we're going to turn editing on, upper right hand corner. Okay, and then I'm going to go to this tab right here right next to view, right under the greater report, uh, you hit it setup. Now in setup you're gonna have these two things you can add. Now a category, what I like doing is categories by weeks, okay? Or you could do it by, you know, whatever grading system you have, which is, uh, it'll be a category of um, all quizzes. Um, um, and uh, so you could break that down into uh, different grades. What I like doing is I'd like breaking everything down in weeks because it's 10 weeks, 10 percent. Oops, excuse me. Hit them. So this is one one way you could do it, and uh, there's a multitude of ways. And just play around with it, and it's in setup. So I want to add uh, categories, and all my categories will be done by weeks. So every category, every week, will be worth 10 percent. Makes your life easy. So this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to add a category, and the category name will be week one. Um, aggregation of grades, you have your choices. I just put mean of grades because there will be things that they have to do that week that will garner them 10%. So, and then save changes. Now I wash, rinse, and repeat, and I do that all the way down. Now, every time I add a category, do you see this weight? It's going to change. So I add another category, and that would be week two. Now, I also do it this way is because it then keeps me honest. So that at the end of every week, I now, um, I now kind of am forced to update my grades and update things. And you should because you should be looking into your... Uh, Moodle, we tell our students to look at our Moodle every day, so we should be doing the same and looking for um, homework and um, discussions. Now, those of you who have a solitary class, um, you'll get alerted on your email. So, you know, every day you just check, you know, I just check uh, once in the morning, once at night, and I check to see if I have any assignments that, that pop up, and when they pop up, I grade them. And then at, and at the end of the week, if you didn't do anything, pretty much simply put down zero. So I'm now going to do a whole bunch of categories, and you can see now I have two categories, it splits the weight. I add more categories, it'll split the weight even further. Week three. Week four. And all down the line. Because I find the simplest, and let's say you had four categories, then it puts everything into 25. And uh, you can edit it and go in there and uh, then change the weights. Okay? But like I said, I like it nice and simple. Uh, week five. Week six. Now, most probably, you can fast forward this part. 
week seven you can see how it's changing everything it's changing the weights week eight week nine And then week 10. And if you could see, it makes 10%. So I split up like, and again, this is just one way to split up your class. Now, if you have a template A or uh, a class that's already prepared for you, it just, this is already done for you. Now, if you look at this, right, I split up my stuff into uh, 10 weeks. Now I can add grades, okay? So let's say I'm going to have a midterm or a midterm project, whatever you want to do. You put written uh, written midterm, right? And then you go down here to grade category, and I'm going to put that week five. And then when you see, here you go. That written midterm is going to be included into uh, week five. And if you add nothing else in there, it'll be worth 10%. Then I add a, oops, I didn't mean to add a category. I mean to add a, so let me cancel out. Add another grade item. Okay, let's say uh, week 10, I want a, a written final. I can put that when? Week 10. Now, homeworks and discussions. Okay, so you can see now in week 10, there'll be a written final right here. And it's, see this little chain thingy? It's like linked to it. See how it's indented? Okay. Hope you all can see that. I'm using a very, very old camera. Okay, so once you do, once you do that, let's go back into the class. And this is, they call this a popcorn trail or whatever. Breadcrumbs, not popcorn. I'm thinking of something else or maybe I just had popcorn. So you see this breadcrumb trail, then you can go back to the main. So let's say on 20th of March to 26th, since we skipped week one, right? Why don't we put week one homework and uh, uh, week one discussion? So I add an activity, advanced forum. I click on that and I add it. And I'll call that what? D1. Discussion one to be announced and posted by a professor. Do and then of course the professor can write whatever want. And then save and return to course. I could now for that week and remember you have to have um this, um, what do you call this button right here in the upper right um, for turning the editing on and when you turn the editing on it'll add all these items right here so I'm gonna add another activity that'll be homework so assignment I'll put that in add and it's like wash and rinse and repeat it's the same thing so I'll put what homework one to be announced uh, spell, and posted by the professor. Okay, and then you could put the item, and then you could put when it's due. Okay, and then you click on these things, and then when it's due. Okay, and you know, for a class that missed out because of the weather, you know, I put it, I put it back a couple of weeks. Or you make everything due in week five when you have to post grades anyway. So you can do that for everything homework one discussion one all down the line and also any other resource you may have um, like for example uh, we can add the resource here for uh, when you do your discussions this is a, a week one topic please APA format and uh, make it at least 200 words so um, I can add in 
uh, a rubric here. So I can add and then scroll down here, file. Um, uh, threaded, because online threaded discussion rubric. Enclosed is a grading sheet which describes the characteristics and grading of your Moodle online threaded discussions. Please note that we do not accept late or uh, um, late submissions. So that's the Okay, I can put that there. Then I have added rubric, and I get it from my computer somewhere. Oh, it's not there. No wonder I don't want to create services. I want um, my documents. Uh, um, threaded discussions and rubric. Okay. Uh, rubric for then I put it in there. Uh, Moodle rubric. Upload this and then then you save and return and uh, you can see now it's on here with a little and then every if you want to put notes or maybe a nice video so you can and then you could uh, put a nice video on there. And uh, right here down here at the bottom like like for example um, this particular uh, video I could have a URL just uh, and all you have to do is just put. Um, put in the uh, web address and it should come up. Of course, test it just to make sure. All right, so that's my little primer. And if you need help, you always call me and um, we can look right at it. But by week five, we got to get this all squared away for each and every one of uh, your classes. And again, if you have template A, don't touch anything, it's fine. But if you have a blank shell, uh, for example, like this one, um, then it's going to be a little bit of an issue. Now, once you put the homework and the discussion, I want to show you this little weird thing because I'm, I usually miss a little bit. There's one other thing that I should have done, but it's just habit I have. Now, when you look at this, and then go back into grade report, then go to setup. Now, when you look at the setup, now change because see here, for whatever reason, uh, uh, work, it's got to be linked to something. So you hit link, that little link thing there. And then you push put it in whatever week you want it. Let me just. So I'm gonna put it right there, week one. Boom. And then you can see right here, it'll be in week one. Now, everything goes back to 10%. Now I want to do another grading item, that's D1 discussion one. So I'm gonna have that grade item, and I go back here to the top, and I call it D1 for discussion one. And then I go down here scroll down a little bit to the bottom where it says grade category I'll put that also in week one and I could do that for quizzes too let's say I'm gonna have a quiz I'll call it quiz one um, you just take it you know uh, right here in the setup and you go oops let me pan back out again you go all the way to the bottom and then you add a grade item and then you put a quiz in and you could manually put a quiz in or just put a quiz grade in okay and again, if you need any help, give me a call. So that's pretty much what you would need to do to set up your shell. Okay? And I like the week 1 to 10 format because, again, it chops everything into 10%. So at the end of the day or at the end of the term, it'll be 1,000 points. And it's so easy to, um, um, uh, to calculate. So, for example, let's go back. Let me go back to one of my uh, um, other classes from last term, so I can show you. Go to one of our classes from last term. So I look at um, like my 285, 2017 term one, section e, MED 285 is Wednesday days, Alexandria. And I go into grades, and you can see how I populated everything every week. And there's like a homework, and there's uh, other items. I try to get homework and discussions, uh, almost, and, and then I start getting lazy, 
right around here. So when you look at your grades, this is the neat part. See, everything gets broken down into by week. So at the very end of it all, it's so easy to calculate grades. If you look at this, all the way at the end, the far right, okay? If you look at all the grades, so 804 points out of 1,000, that's easy. That's an 80.4. 703 out of 1,000, 70.3, 69.8, 81.9, or 82. And then you can look in your, um, uh, the translation of uh, score range to actual letter grade is in your syllabus. Um, I just print out that part and I put it on my desk and, and um, it's so easy to read. Okay? So that's pretty much it. And um, thank you very much for watching this video.